Welcome to the next in our series of TCP replay videos. In this video, we will try to not run at full speed but at a lower rate and to be able to control the rate that we send packets through the network. As you recall in previous videos, the dash T option says send the packets as quickly as possible. And if we don't specify that option, it will replay this file at the rate that it was recorded on the network, which will take about five minutes to go through one loop iteration. If we're looping 500 times, of course, that'll take a very long time, but what we'll do is we'll do either that we can use a dash M option or the dash dash MBPS for megabits per second option, and then select a rate that we want to go at. So in this case, I'm asking don't go at full rate, but go 9.5 gigabits per second. And we're using the NetMap driver, so we should be able to achieve that kind of a rate. And new with version 4.0 is that we can control the rate with very little overhead and um, pretty well get whatever speed that we want. So we can control it very, very closely. If we're not using the NetMap driver, we may want to go at lower rates. I'll do something interesting. I'll do 0.5. just to show that we can still manipulate our rate down to the decimal point. And of course we can do things like 0 .005. Now look at what's happening to our frames per second. We're actually able to, uh, flows per second, I'm sorry. Our flows per second is able to be reduced by changing our megabits per second. This will, will of course be dependent on the capture file that we're using. Uh, and your flow rate will change accordingly to uh, the number of flows that are available in the capture file. So let's try something else here. What I'll do is I'll do point zero zero five or point zero five and with loop 500 this is going to take a very very long time. So what we can do is just wait a little while, hit control C, and you'll find that uh, it will still get the rate that it had, and uh, it will still print out a report for you. 